Now with the woman who made the decision, Fever President Kelly Kroskoff, why Pokey Chapman amongst what I'm sure was a very large crowd? I tell you, you know, when the opportunity came to be able to speak with her, it was clear to me that, uh, you know, not only does she bring great experience, she's a hungry, driven coach. We've seen that many times when she brought her team here from Chicago. Um, she's just got a great resume of coaching players at this level um, in the WNBA in Europe. And, and I really enjoyed getting to know her the last couple of weeks, you know, just even more so. She just fits our organization. There's a there's a toughness about her. There's, um, uh, you know, she's she's very hungry to uh, to win a title, to to drive her teams forward. So um, there were many things, just personality-wise, as well as um, her basketball acumen and her her background that that fits us very well. And really very fortunate to have her. For you, how much did seeing her at a pretty close distance in Chicago factor into the decision? It, it does. It plays a lot. You know, you have a familiarity with the, with coaches in this league, and and one of the things I've always noticed about her teams is, first of all, they're very disciplined, they play hard, they're gritty. Um, but her players always get better. She's she's done a very good job with player development. Um, it seems like year in and year out, you know, her players continue to get better, her teams get better. Um, you know, I, I I think that always helps in any league you know when you're when you're looking at coaches and for me i wanted to have a coach that had that experience that can hit the ground running there's really no learning curve in terms of the wnba and and um and then all the other criteria that i spoke about she really fits us tamika catchings played her final game a couple of months ago you know bringing a new head coach does this feel like a new era of fever basketball to you it is a new era and this is the first step and I, I am thrilled to have Pokey as our head coach as we start the new era because, you know, there's, there's so many things about her, like, like I said, that, that kind of fits the culture that we've built, the identity that we've built. And we're planning to build on the success. And she's hungry. You know, she's emailing me at 4.30 in the morning asking for video for practices. I mean, she's already gone through all the game films. So, you know, she's very committed. She's, she's ready to hit the ground running. And uh, I am more than excited about this new era. This is, I think, we have great years ahead of us and, and you know, even better success ahead. A testament to that consistency would be 12 straight playoff appearances, despite the fact that you are losing a face in Tamika Catchings and you have a new coach. Why are you so confident that that consistency will carry over? Well, first of all, we have a core nucleus of players that have great experience. They know what it takes to win. They've won championship. They've been in the finals, you know. Um, and I have a coach who has also done that as well. She's, she's led her team to the playoffs. Um, you know, there's, a, there's a, a, a part of her that is very much um, fits with, with who we are. And I think the, the group of players that we have um, expect nothing less as well. And, you know, she's, we've, there's been contact made. She's already talked to a couple of them. So um, there's a real excitement um, about moving forward. And, and I just have a lot of confidence in the group that we have and I have a lot of confidence in Pokey. She said her first steps once this day is over will be to talk again with you. What kind of things are you discussing here during the off season with your new coach? Well, I mean, we got to shore up the staff, you know, um, the, the, the coaching staff, and we'll be talking about that. And we've already talked a little bit about our team and just, you know, things that, that, um, that we want to do to, to kind of get better. We'll, we'll really break down um, areas that we want to improve. You know, she has a very high-paced offensive style system that um, we started implementing here. Um, you know, she's a, she likes the defensive side of the ball. She's kind of got that grittiness, you know, affinity for the defensive side of the ball. So, you know, there'll be some things that we'll talk about in terms of style. And, and then, you know, our roster, um, you know, I, I plan on keeping most of our group intact. I think she's, she's got a, you know, um, a, a great opportunity to coach a good, you know, veteran group of players. And she's, you know, looking forward to that as well. Well, Fever President Kelly Kroskoff, congratulations on, uh, I'm sure, which was a, a very significant process for you. Very significant, but I will tell you, extremely excited. If um, Fever fans are wondering about this, the future, the best is yet to come.